Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. So, first off, let me just congratulate everyone that we've gotten to 114 subscribers since the last time I checked. So I've been active on the Twitter for about a couple weeks. Uh, there are some people that I'm going to thank on Twitter specifically uh, for them uh, either supporting me on Twitter or have subscribed to my channel on the YouTubes. We're fairly predominant YouTubers. We have subscription counts in the tens of thousands. That is definitively not me. At least not in this form. Um, so, got home from vacation. Let's just talk about the vacations. So, my girlfriend and I, we live about an hour and a half north of Toronto. We left at Odart Stupid one morning to avoid both the Toronto rush hour in the morning and then the Montreal rush hour in the evening worked out quite well we got to Montreal in plenty of time went to Schwartz's Deli very packed um, and got a yummy yummy sandwich and then we spent two nights in Montreal uh, while I was in Montreal we did a lot of walking um, actually did a lot of walking in Halifax too uh, did a lot of walking around Montreal um, Got fatigued a couple of times, nothing really to worry about. There was one event in Montreal where I got a little bit of confusion going on, but we worked through it. Um, unfortunately, that can happen. There's nothing I can do about that. So, Montreal was an unequivocal success. Uh, we then moved on to Fredericton. In Fredericton, I got to watch my girlfriend graduate. I put on a shirt and tie, tied it myself, uh, with the help of YouTube, because it's been a while since I've had to tie a full Windsor knot. Um, we, she had on a dress, we went to her graduation, so she's now officially graduated with a Master's of Arts in Counseling Psychology. And <clears throat> the ceremony itself is about two and a half hours long. Um, there are a couple moments where I had PBA, uh, started to cry for no apparent reason. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a fairly emotional event, but it was just, things just wanted to make me cry. There's nothing I can do about that. Ceremony, not too bad. Um, it got noisy right at the end where people were cheering and really whistling. And again, I, I did what I could to get out of the room as fast as I could. Uh, I met up with her in the hallway. We went outside for a few minutes just to let my thinker clear. And then we went out for dinner, went to a really nice restaurant. I would have loved to have been able to eat inside the restaurant, but it was just way too noisy. Uh, would have been not a, a good time. So we went eight out on the, um, the the patio, which is still an amazing time. Excellent food. In fact, there's a couple recipes that we're going to try to recreate at home because we enjoyed it so much. Then the drive to Halifax. We spent three days in Halifax. Um, Halifax wasn't bad. Uh, we got out to Peggy's Cove. One day, first day we got there, it was rainy, so we didn't get out to Peggy's Cove as we thought we might. Uh, we did a lot of walking around Halifax. Um, I got to do something in Halifax that I never thought I'd be able to do. So, Autism Nova Scotia and Sobeys, Sobeys is a, a major chain grocery store here in Canada, they have initiated a sensory sensitive shopping hour, right? Quiet hour, quiet time. Uh, every Sunday between 6 and 7, well, as luck would have it, I happen to be in Halifax on a Sunday and we did our shopping um, sort of on purpose <coughs> between six and seven it is the first shopping experience in over a year where i was able to freely not wear sunglasses because they didn't have a lot of lighting ongoing and what lighting they did have wasn't fluorescent the muzak was off so i didn't have to wear my headphones um I believe they turned down the noise of the beepers on the cash cashier machines. <clears throat> I still beeped a little bit. There weren't as, as many people in the store. And again, I almost cried when I was in the store because it was a very emotional event for me to actually be at a retail <clears throat> that actually respects and doesn't discriminate and is mindful about their patrons that have sensory sensitivity and I'm going to 
do another video about sensory sensitivity and shopping because you know what I heard that they did that in, in, in Nova Scotia I never expected to be able to get a chance to, to actually witness it myself I don't think major corporations truly understand how much of a difference they can make in someone's life and I'll do a video about that <clears throat> in a while on the way home I got to drive for three hours straight in the highway I have not driven that length of time since my stroke I've driven since my stroke I just haven't driven that length of time three hours on highway driving so as we were leaving Halifax to come home we decided that the first day of driving we're gonna do about 11 11 ish hours of driving to get a fair chunk of the piece down so <clears throat> the next day we can take it fairly slow and if we had to lay up we, we kind of planned for a three-day return trip if we needed it we didn't need it but so be it so I got to drive for three hours now I recently renewed my driver's license so I still have it I'm gonna do a video or sorry I'm going to do a video about um, your driver's license and stroke <clears throat> just need to do a bit more research about it and then it was taxing so for three hours three and a half hours of highway driving um, but um, anywhere between 100 to 120 kilometers an hour uh, I'll let you American folks do the conversion to miles because I don't really care to um, so three hours of highway driving which means you know passing slower moving traffic occasionally passing a transport truck uh, it was New Brunswick driving so it's a lot of twists turns hills so sometimes you can't see two or three kilometers in front of you uh, did fairly well I was actually quite impressed I've been <clears throat> driving small amounts here and there this is the first time I actually got to sort of stretch my legs as you will um, or as it were the first time I got to do a long piece of driving three to three and a half hour mark I was getting fatigued and I knew that's kind of where my benchmark sat so I knew I'd kind of have to take a stop so about that point we uh, went for coffee tea and gas we did a change round and my girlfriend continued driving so <clears throat> ultimately I had fatigue during the vacation because that happened and it's still going to happen uh, there was one moment of, of significant confusion so to speak uh, but it is what it is there's <clears throat> nothing I can do about that and the confusion was sort of brought on by the situation I was in we, we got through it, it was no big deal um, the driving piece I couldn't be happier it was it was an amazing thing to be able to drive long distances again it, it felt normal and the shopping joyous <laughs> it's the only way to describe it <clears throat> was just joyous so and while I was on vacation um, stroke association in the UK has has released a fairly significant uh, stroke report I've got a copy of it I'm in the middle of reading it and I'm planning a series of videos <clears throat> excuse me in response to things that that report indicates because uh, unless you've had a stroke or you're kind of in the mental health or neurological industry somewhere you're probably never going to read it you know, probably don't even know it exists uh, this is by far and large going to be the single largest sample size of stroke folk being interviewed and I'm going to review it and it's going to generate some content either this paycheck coming up or the next paycheck I'm going to invest in a new camera system so the video quality will be improving shortly I know I've been talking about it, it's just been saving up for the vacation and you know not made of money um, and then I'm going to start working on some other projects here and there and eventually I'm going to continue on with the Wednesday Thursday or Wednesday Friday sorry Wednesday Friday Wednesday Friday series of uploads <clears throat> yeah it's it was it was a good vacation 
for those of you that have had a stroke and you've not yet been on a vacation, I'm going to suggest you're going to need to plan for the fatigue. Granted, <clears throat> my girlfriend and I, we did a, a great deal of walking. Uh, we walked for a couple hours here and there around Montreal, uh, both days, a couple hours uh, around Halifax on a couple of days. Um, walked around Peggy's Cove. By far and large, the vacation was an unadulterated success. Had some stumbles, but then again, it's a post-stroke world. There are going to be stumbles. There's nothing you can do about it. Just accept the fact that you're going to have the stumbles, and you're going to have to find a way through the stumbles. It's sort of how I live my life now. I encounter the obstacle or the stumble, and I find a way to get through it. Some days more successfully than others, but i got to work with the cards I've been given, right? Like, there's not much I can do about that. So... On that note, I'm going to sign off. Uh, this is my first video back after vacation, and I'm going to start uploading content regularly yet again. Uh, and for those of you that have been supporting me either here on the channel, uh, you've either a recent subscriber or you're a viewer of my content, thank you. For those of you that have been supporting me <clears throat> on Twitter, again, thank you. Uh, just like to take the time to show, show some appreciation. There are some specific larger name YouTubers whose names I will not mention because it's not apropos and I don't want to be seen writing in coattails. But for those of you that might be a Twitter follower or a subscriber on here that has a subscriber count in the tens to twenties of thousands, thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your consideration. And if you happen to see someone <clears throat> in your world or know someone in your world, it has either been through a stroke or supporting someone that's been through a stroke, even if it's you yourself. Please like, share, subscribe, point the channel out to someone. They might get some benefit out of the content I generate. And if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being someone immediately appears to be loss of balance or befuddled or confused. Someone who has vision problems. Uh, they see at a grayscale. They can't see at a one eye. They can only move their eyes in a certain direction. They see in a little dot out of the world. They have facial droop. There's a visual, noticeable slacking of the facial muscles. Someone who can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. Someone who can't smile equally effectively or at all. Someone who has slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. Someone who has general body weakness or weakness on one side or has the inability to stand unaided. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.